not every day that you get to hear your governor talking about growing up on a farm, picking raspberries, or even giving marital advice, but that's exactly what some people heard today in Little Rock. Channel 7 Stacey Spivey is telling us now what the governor said. Janelle, it's part of a series of interviews with the seven living Arkansas governors. Today, Governor Asa Hutchinson was in the hot seat, but it's more than just politics. It allows people to see a glimpse in the life of Arkansas governors. And to one 16-year-old, it meant the world. And I've always wanted to meet Asa Hutchinson ever since he started campaigning. Logan Davis said it was in kindergarten that he decided he would one day run for president. I guess at every point, some kid says they want to be president. But then I went to meet Bill Clinton, and it reminded me why I wanted to be governor of Arkansas and president of the United States. So an hour drive wasn't getting in the way of Davis and his dad, Kip, getting to know Governor Hutchinson on a more personal level. And I think that lets uh, the public see them as, as a person, you know, their personal life, and also to uh, understand more about uh, how our political system works here in Arkansas. That's what's special about Arkansas. Uh, you can stay close to your governor, you can know your governor, uh, and, and you can be inspired, hopefully, uh, for future leadership, and this 16-year-old might be an example of that. Governor Hutchinson says he was proud to take part in this series, no matter the questions. Oh, I always like uh, just the spontaneity of it in terms of the questions. You don't know what's coming. There's no way to get prepared for it. But I always welcome any opportunity to talk about uh, my vision for Arkansas and where we need to go as a state. He discussed legalizing marijuana in Arkansas and even gave a little marriage counseling. But I'm doing this uh, because uh, of history, because of the importance of this uh, initiative to interview all the governors. I think it's a great tradition and I certainly want to participate in it. Yeah. All of the interviews will be posted online for anyone to see and you can find a link on our website. Back to you. Uh